Hi there friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots and today we're making these low top sneakers. Now these are perfect for sock gnomes or shelf sitting gnomes. I have a ton of different gnome shoes and boots and clogs and booties at the pattern. Uh, you can get it in the link below, even those little bunny slippers. Okay, so now back to these tennis shoes. We're gonna need felt in whatever colors you desire, uh, small styrofoam balls, foam core, and um, also foam, craft foam in white. So the first thing we're gonna do is just slice these foam balls in half. Um, I found a razor works a little bit better than my tiny knife. And after you cut all the pattern pieces, we're ready to assemble the sneakers. Now this is really simple. Some of these you can figure out on your own, but I did spend a lot of time on these pattern pieces to make sure that everything worked out. So if you would show a little bit of shameless plugging on my part, uh, show a little love and get that pattern. Okay, so we're going to put the sock on and all we're gonna do is put it between the two pieces and align it in the back here and then add the little spacer part right here. And that's just to secure it and make it look finished. And then we're gonna, um, so you're not gonna glue this down yet. First you're gonna glue down the toe piece and then you're gonna glue down the sides. So like the, the shoe tongue piece, I should say, not the toe piece. And then you're just gonna wrap that all the way around. Be sure to sort of line it up with the bottom of the foam core. And this is what it looks like at this point. I just like to separate the sock piece from the shoe piece by just pulling it away a little, give it a little bit of um, realism. <laughs> okay, so the next part is the toe piece, which is crafted to make it really easy. You're just gonna put down um, the middle, the sides, and then the front. Okay, so if you've watched any of the sneaker tutorials, you see that we're lacing up, uh, going opposite directions for our tennis shoes. And here we go, the other side. And it's really simple, it's really quick. Um, these actually come together super fast. You're just gonna give them a little tie. And if you do have young ones or you're selling these, do double knot them and maybe add a dollop of hot glue. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish it up for the second shoe. And now we're going to add this midsole piece, making sure that our tennis shoelaces are out of the way. And we're just gonna make sure we get that all the way around, lining it up with the bottom. And we repeat for the second shoe and add the soles. Super duper easy, huh? You can cut those soles if you miscut like I did. You can just trim them up. Now to get the line really straight and even, I just hold a felt tip pen here and move the shoe instead of moving the pen. And that way you'll get a straight line all the way around the shoe. Doodly doo. And repeat it for the second shoe and guess what? You're done. These are great for snot gnomes or sitting gnomes. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, thanks for being here and subscribe to Ruffles and Rainbows.